Henry Sutton, the 4th of September 1855 Ballarat, Victoria, the 28th of July 1912, was an Australian designer, engineer, and inventor credited with contributions to early developments in electricity, aviation, wireless communication, photography, and telephony. Topic: Early life. Topic. Family Henry Sutton, the second of the eleven children of Richard Henry Sutton (1831–1876) and Mary Sutton (1835–1894), née Johnson, was born in a tent on the Ballarat goldfields on the 4th of September 1855. He had three brothers, with whom he was associated in the Sutton Brothers musical business originally centered on Ballarat, and two sisters. He married Elizabeth Ellen Wyatt in 1881, and Annie May Toddy 1884, on 17 September 1902, who bore four and two sons, respectively. Topic. Education Up to the age of 10, Sutton was schooled by his mother, then attended a state school, and then Gracefield College between 1869 and 1872. Sutton was self-taught in the field of science, having read all the available books in Library of the Ballarat Mechanics LNS Tattoot By the age of 14, Sutton trained as a draftsman at the Ballarat School of Design where he won a silver medal and 30 other prizes for drawing. Sutton studied at the Ballarat School of Mines. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Ballarat Sutton lectured at the Ballarat School of Mines from 1883 to 1886. In 1883, as a consequence of his work on batteries, Sutton was admitted as an associate of the Society of Telegraph Engineers and of Electricians. M. Louis Adolphe Cochery Minister of Post and Telegraph Office in France invited Sutton to membership of the Société Internationale des Electriciens. Sutton was also offered membership of electrical societies from America, Belgium and Russia. In 1890 prior to leaving for England, a farewell dinner was held by the citizens of Ballarat, where Sutton was presented with an illuminated address. <laughs> London 1890–1893 Sutton registered Sutton's Process Syndicate in November 1891 at an address in London to exploit his Sutton-type printing process. The process was not considered particularly innovative and it was reported to be unreliable. He abandoned the business to return to Australia. In 1892, he was introduced to Nikola Tesla by Lord Rayleigh and William Preece. On the return voyage to Australia in 1893, Sutton used his printing process to contribute pictures to a shipboard newspaper called the Red Sea Scorcher. Topic: <laughs> Melbourne. Sutton travelled with Alexander Graham Bell from Melbourne to Ballarat on 15 August 1910 where they discussed their respective discoveries. Sutton died suddenly, at his residence, Waltham, 9 Erskine Street, Malvern, on 28 July 1912, at the age of 56 and was buried in the Brighton Cemetery. Topic. Inventions. Topic. Printing Sutton's Sutton-type process for converting photographs into a printing surface was patented in 1887. Topic. Wireless telegraphy 
Sutton discovered, and patented, a Galena detector that had superior performance over other devices used to that time. Sutton had also built the world's first portable radio and held a number of other patents relating to wireless transmission and reception. Topic: Other endeavors. Topic: Aviation. Sutton built a clockwork-driven ornithopter operating on a fixed arm and presented two papers on flight to the Aeronautical Society of Great Britain, in 1878, entitled, On the Flight of Birds and Aerial Navigation, and Second Paper on the Flight of Birds. <laughs> Batteries In 1881, Sutton had developed a new rechargeable battery which was patented the following year. He also wrote of a 4-volt cell compound battery invention which was described as impossible by the English mechanic and world of science in 1890. <laughs> Lighting Sutton demonstrated a light globe 16 days after Edison's demonstration on 31 December 1879, subsequently Sutton's vacuum pump design which overcame deficiencies in the Sprengel pump, was used for the production of light globes by the Edison Swan Company. Telephony <inaudible> 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 After reading of Bell's 1876 announcement of the invention of the telephone, Sutton had designed about 20 different telephones within a year. Sutton was said to have "...believed in the free flow of information as a gift to science, patented little, although 16 of his 20 original telephone designs were patented by others overseas." The first Australian telephone connection was made in Ballarat and Ballarat East, linking fire stations in the two towns. The exact location of one of the telephone sets can be seen in the Ballarat East fire station. The device once allowed communication between the two fire brigades in Ballarat so that they could more accurately locate fires from their watch towers. Sutton had also wired up Sutton's music stores, his family business warehouses and offices, with a telephone network two years before an official Australian telephone system. Sutton devised a method for using gas and water pipes as part of a telephone circuit. Photography <laughs> 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 In the 1880s Sutton also devised a color photography process but, although examples of this work exist, he did not commercialize it. Television <inaudible> 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 In 1887, Sutton designed, but did not construct, an apparatus to see the Melbourne Cup in Ballarat. Sutton had published his telephane designs in 1890. According to historian Anne Moyle, the concept was never successfully demonstrated. Sutton's TV system, which he called telephony, used all the latest technology, such as the recently invented Kerr effect, the Nipkow disk, which Baird was to use in the 20s, and the selenium photocell. But its weak link in the 1870s was that the signal had to be transferred by telegraph lines, as radio had yet to arrive, and these were too slow to transmit the dashing horses of the Melbourne Cup successfully. <laughs> Facsimile Sutton used his telephane system to demonstrate facsimile transmission with the help of Nikola Tesla in England. An account of his invention was later published in Washington in 1896, noting that the first patents for long-distance transmission of images dated back to 1867. Topic: <laughs> Lifts. 
For the benefit of his mother, who had been paralyzed by a stroke, a new hydraulic lift had been installed in the newly built Sutton's Music Emporium. As Ballarat's low water pressure and lack of an efficient drainage system were incompatible, Sutton designed and built a new hydraulic mechanism to drive the lift. This design was subsequently used by the Austral Otis Company and exported for use in America. Topic. Automotive Henry Sutton can be classed as an automobile inventor and designer rather than a manufacturer whose achievements were considerable and internationally recognized. As an inventor he produced a number of automobiles of his own design in an evolutionary process somewhere between six and eight. In 1897, a tricycle fitted with a Sutton designed and built engine was driven from Melbourne to Ballarat. Despite atrocious road conditions the trip was completed in 11 and a half hours, and the vehicle arrived in Ballarat to a crowd of thousands. From 1898 Sutton held patents for improvements in combustion engine carburetors, and, by 1899, he had built and driven the Sutton Autocar, one of the first motor cars in Australia. Topic. Automobile Club of Victoria Sutton was a founding member of the Automobile Club of Victoria, and, at its inaugural meeting, on 10 December 1903, Sutton's proposed objects of the club were unanimously accepted by all present that the objects of the club should be the promotion of a social organization and club, composed mainly of persons owning self-propelled vehicles or motorcycles, to afford a means of recording the experiences of members and others using motor cars and motorcycles, to promote investigation in their development, to cooperate in securing rational legislation and the formation of proper rules and regulations governing the use of motor cars and motorcycles in cities, towns and country districts to maintain the lawful rights and privileges and protect the interests of owners and users of all forms of self-propelled vehicles whenever and wherever such interests, rights and privileges are menaced, to promote and encourage the improvement, construction and maintenance of roads and highways and the development generally in this state of motoring, and to maintain a club to be devoted to the interests and advancement of automobilism. Topic. Legacy Topic. Henry Sutton Circuit On 20 January 2004, several streets in the new Canberra suburb of Dunlop were named after inventors, inventions, and artists, and one of these new streets was called Henry Sutton Circuit Topic: The Henry Sutton Oration In 2014, the Telecommunications Association, formerly known as the Telecommunications Society of Australia, which had its origins in the Telegraph Electrical Society, founded in Melbourne in 1874, inaugurated its annual Henry Sutton Oration. Topic: <laughs> Poetry. Les Murray referred to Sutton and television in his 1990 poem, The Tube. Topic: The Science Show. Science journalist Robin Williams has featured Sutton in episodes of his long-running radio program. Equals equals notes. <laughs>